Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest 4.3.3 firmware. Now before we begin, there are a couple of things I do want to go over. Uh, first of all, the program we are using, Red Snow, is available for both Windows and Mac, and the tutorial is almost 100% identical. There's one slight thing, and I'll show you guys that, not a big deal, in just one second. So if you have Windows or Mac, you're going to be good to go. Um, in addition, it also does support most, but not all, devices. Um, so what this will work for is the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and finally the iPad 1. This does not support the iPad 2 just yet. It's on the way, but it's not quite out. And of course, this is an untethered jailbreak, which means you don't have to be worrying about anything like plugging your device in, rebooting, and all that kind of stuff. Really, none of that nonsense. You were able to work just like you would expect. Um, so anyway, you're going to need to do, use two things to do this jailbreak. First of all is the Red Snow program itself. Uh, like I said, it's available for both Windows and Mac, and I have a link in the description where you can download whichever one you need. And secondly, you're going to need the IPSW, also known as the firmware file for your device. Uh, now this is not really tricky at all to get, I almost said it was, but no, it's really not. Um, all you need to do is hit the link in the description, I'll have a couple of them there. Um, you basically find your firmware file, uh, you may already have it on your computer, in which case you can just drag it onto your desktop or where, whatever's most convenient for you. Or you can have to, or if you don't, you can go ahead and download it. But either way, uh, be sure you have both of these before continuing. Uh, now there is one additional step, and this is uh, only if you are using Windows 7. So if you're on an earlier version of Windows or on Mac, you can totally skip this bit. Uh, but what you need to do is right-click Red Snow, come down to Properties, and then if you guys can see here, come over to the Compatibility tab, which should be the second from the left. And there are going to be two things we need to do here. First, we need to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. And now, different people have had different success rates for you know all these kinds. Uh, I think, as far as I've been able to test, uh, Service Pack 3 has always worked. Uh, of course, Windows XP Service Pack 3 has always worked perfect for me. Uh, but if you have a problem with that, try Vista or perhaps try Windows 2000, whatever works for you. Um, and the second thing is you need to be sure to click run this program as an administrator. Now, of course, that only applies if you have a Windows 7 computer. Not if you're on Vista, XP, or of course OS X. So let's move this down here and show you guys. Um, so once it opens up, it's going to be really simple. Uh, we need to go ahead and click Browse, find that IPSW that we downloaded and or found, and we can continue on. So just let it successfully identify it and click Next. It'll take just a moment to to prepare the jailbreak data. And while it's doing this, I do want to mention that uh, you should not lose any of your data in the jailbreak. But I highly recommend that at this point, or even if you know before you even begin, uh, hook it up with iTunes, let it fully sync all of your data, and you should be good to go. You don't have to worry about anything like losing data, even if something does go wrong in the process. All right, so once it's finished doing our jailbreak data, there are a few options here. So number one is install Cydia, obviously the point, so we want to do that. Um, you also see install custom bundle. Um, if you don't know what that is, just skip it. Um, it's more for advanced users. Um, allow boot animation. I recommend going ahead and doing that because that allows you to go get some animated boot logos. Uh, nothing fancy and you don't have to, but I recommend doing it just because, you know, why not? Um, we also have enable battery percentage if you're on an iPod Touch. And we also have enable multitask gestures, which allow you to do some cool things. Um, once you're done with the jailbreak, go into options. There's going to be a new setting there. Enable it and allow you to do some cool things like four finger gestures to, uh, you know, switch between apps and whatnot. Pretty cool stuff. But of course, the, all, all these are optional. The only thing that's the most important thing is to have make sure that install city is checked. All right. So the next step is to actually do our jailbreak. So. If I can do this without knocking my microphone over, I will show you guys. And what you need to do is you need to have your iPod, iPhone, or iPad. I'll be showing you guys with an iPod Touch 4th generation, but of course the procedure is the same no matter what. Let me line that up a little bit better so you guys can see everything. Uh, so you need to have it off, so I will indeed go ahead and do this right now. So. And of course, I'm on 4.3.3. Uh, you need to have it plugged in, so it, now would be a great time to let iTunes back up all your data. But once it's all backed up, you're good to go. Plug your device in and then hold the power button. So, we'll do this for just a second here. And then slide the power off. Make sure that that pinwheel, sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know why. But uh, make sure the screen is totally off, you're good to go, then we can continue. All right, so the next step is we're going to put it into DFU mode. Uh, it's, it, you basically, you hold the power button then you power, hold them both then you release the power button very simple I will walk you through it and of course the program will as well so click next begin holding the power button for three seconds now we're going to start holding the power and the home for 10 seconds
and we are going to release the power button and continue holding the home button. Uh, very simple, if you drop a button or for whatever reason, uh, just hold both the power and the home and let it cycle through, uh, not a big deal, but uh, you know, it's, it's easy, especially if you have a case like this where the buttons are kind of hard to get at. But anyway, uh, once you see all this, you can see it says downloading jailbreak data, we're good to go, we just let it, uh, the computer run for a few minutes, um, and I will be right back as soon as it's done. All right, so it just finished up. So if everything went according to plan, and of course it should have, uh, you will now see a new option called City. If I can get this nice and close to the camera. Uh, so there you go, guys. It's really simple. Um, now at this point, we can open up City, and we'll say pre preparing file system. Uh, this will take a little while. It'll reboot and all that kind of stuff. But as far as we're, uh, as far as you know, doing any work, we're all good. Just give it a little bit of time, and we can go and download all the cool City bits that we want. Uh, so anyway guys, that's about it for my tutorial showing you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3. Um, if you found this helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button above. I do lots of other jailbreak related content. If you have any problems, questions, anything like that, be sure to hit the uh, hit up the comments and I will do my best to help you out. So there we go. Open this up here and show you guys that it of course does work. So at this point, go download all the cool stuff that you want and you'll be good to go.